It's really busy today. It's a lot of people. But did you know by the year 2031, the population of the Okanagan is expected to grow by 40%? That's a lot of people. And with about 20% of them, 65 or over, that's going to create some economic challenges and opportunities. Hmm. Rick Weber knows the Okanagan. Weekdays at 5 p.m. Only on your CHBC News. And over 60% of adults drink coffee on a daily basis. It won't seem natural, do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, checking out the real estate listings. Yeah, we need a bigger house. I'm not sure about the market though. Well, you know, sales of existing homes should increase this year and with lower average prices. That's right, lower prices, increased listings and favorable interest rates are attracting more buyers. Oh, well, that's good to know. Rick Weber and Claudia Zaglash, they know the Okanagan, only on CHBC News. And remember, you should always get a qualified home inspection. Wine? Please. That's a nice local choice. Oh, thanks. Good to know. Did you know that the first vineyards in the Okanagan Valley were planted by Father Pandozi in 1859 near present-day Kelowna? Today there are over 120 wineries in the region producing some of the world's finest award-winning wines. Doris Jansen knows the Okanagan only on your CHBC News. Salut. Mmm, nice New tablet? Yeah, I love it. So high-tech. Did you know the Okanagan is a high-tech success story? Really? It's known as the Silicon Vineyard, with many local companies marketing their technologies worldwide. Toby Tannis knows the Okanagan weeknights. Did you know that the Okanagan gets over 2,000 hours of sunshine a year? Mike Roberts knows the Okanagan weekdays on your CHBC News. Did you know that the BC government gave Okopogo protected wildlife status in 1989? Claudia Zeglash knows the Okanagan on your CHBC News.